you guys, this looks like a fun one. I think I want to zoom in right away. We're given two circles that are the exact same size, and we're given various angles inside of the circles. And they want us to find the size of this angle right here. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. Looking at this angle X, it's made up of two radii of this left circle. So these two sides are going to be equal to each other. And then this side right here is a radius of the other circle, but the two circles are the same size. So all three of these green lines are congruent to each other. And then for the left circle, if I drew one more radius right here, I would know that all three of these sides would be congruent. And that would form an equilateral triangle. In every equilateral triangle, each of the angles is 60 degrees. And for this one down here, since this is already 15 degrees, we know this remaining piece will be 45 degrees. That was productive, let's go back here. So now looking at this, I wanna complete this side right here and focus on this triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. Two of the sides are congruent. That means that the base angles are also congruent. So this angle up here has to be 45 degrees. Now in this triangle, all three of these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So we know that 45 plus 45 plus 60 plus X has to equal 180. And 45 plus 45 plus 60 is equal to 150. So we have 150 plus X equals 180. And that means that X is equal to 30. And the size of the angle X is what we were trying to solve for, so let's put a box around it. How exciting.